How you doing guys? Welcome back to the San Pauli Save. It's me, Pepe. It's Monday. Cheer up, cheer up. It's Monday. Uh, we've just had our uh, current transfer budget raised, which is good. It's 8.25 million because uh, we our latest financial fair play calculations project the club will pass regulations for the current period. Awesome. Um, but I, oh, we're getting a B. Good, good. Matches A minus. Tactics B. Squad B minus. Transfers C. Ooh. Um, I did just stop the game in the middle of a whole day thing because um, we've actually um, just seen Emre Moore. I remember being a good young Wonder Kid type player. At there he is at Feyenoord, 2.2 million is the bid they've just had accepted. He's 25 now. 2.2 million from Slovan Bratislava and Lausanne. 18 acceleration and agility, 16 balance, 17 dribbling, 16 technique, 19 fleur. A right winger. Um, he's left footed. He looks decent. Um, He's, oh dear me, one goal and assist in 13. Yeah, he'd started at Lingby, then gone to Norgeland, then to Borussia Dortmund is where I first heard of him, and then Vigo in Spain, Galatasaray and Olympiacos on loan, then to Feyenoord uh, for 3.9 million. Um, I think he's one of those players, he's only just played 100 games. After 10 years in professional football, scoring four, assisting two. I'm going to avoid him, but he's one of those wonder kids that could have done great. How is that acceleration? He's 18, but his pace is 10. I will never know. Uh, however, um, I have. Hello. Wonder Ooh, hello, hello. Sandro Trolls contracted to. Espanol Young New Gen, he could be a player. Five foot six left back. Okie dokie. Um Apparently we've signed a physio. Okay. They're signing people while I'm away. <laughs> while I'm on holidays. Which serves me right to be honest. Uh let's see. This guy sits at shooting. So let's have him doing shooting. Um, is a winger Danielson Moreno. There we go. 15 dribbling. Good winger. Um, I did before go to the scouting side of things. Okie dokie. Uh, Nabil Faker, 34.5 million. He's a good player. Um, Naby Keita was available from Liverpool. And Gareth Bale uh, is on a free. But he's going to cost an absolute ton, isn't he? Um, but I am trying to uh, basically build up a little bit of a, a kind of, how do you call it? A little bit of a network I don't know where's Gareth Bale hmm let's just go here Gareth Bale he was on a free director of football unemployed has he quit playing? Dude. Has he actually retired now? Bale has been recognised for his talents, achievements, blah, blah, blah. Um, doesn't say... 
released on a free transfer by Real Madrid 2022 hmm so looks like he's not going to be playing anymore it's a bit poo um, these are the players expiring in six months these are the players whose contracts have expired Um, Alex Granell, midfielder, decent but slow. Um, yeah, there's there's no Gareth Bale there anymore. Damn, there's a player called Zidane though. It's a bit pants. He's from Mozambique. Uh, but I've been I've been looking at players. I've been checking them out, trying to find little bargains. Well, we're still on the holiday, um, although we just played a friendly, which we drew 1-1. Uh, Matthias Arezzo has just been named as World Cup Best Young Player um, for Uruguay. Uh, this is 2022. And holy crap. Look at him. He's gone mental. He's literally gone to the World Cup and become a beast. That is frightening. He's now worth 30.5 million. He was like 13 or 14 million. Holy Jesus. So. Yeah. He's been a bit good. Thiago Almada also went there. I think Argentina must have won the World Cup. Whoa. Look at him. He's improved as well. Holy shit. Let's have a look at his development. What's his focus here? We're not training him on anything. Um, finishing 15. So I'm working his shooting. Let's praise him. Oh my god. Discuss new trait. Um, let's see. Well, there we go. I'll have him working on knocking ball past opponent. So, Thiago Armada and Matthias Arezzo have literally gone to the tournament and smashed the back doors out of it. So, um, okay. Leonardo Godoy wants to play more games. Argentina uh, player. Let's see. He's got no caps, so I think he's missed out. He's improving. Uh, I think he's missed out on uh, the World Cup, so he's a bit pissed off. Wow, that is... Oh. Almada and Arezzo have just gone absolute gangbusters. Oh my god. We may have to start playing a 4-2-3-1 to fit Almeida into the team. And also, there's uh, a player called Jans Vykov, uh, one of our players. He's massively improved as well. Um, 16 tackling now. Still two star. Um, let's have a look. Six foot two, right back. so he gets forward whenever possible moves ball onto right foot before dribbling and avoids using the weaker foot um, ok and now he's going to be working on runs with the ball down the right let's try ball control so he's improving as well so praise him um That's a bit of a seesaw, that, isn't it? So, around October 22, he started improving November and December. Basically, middle of November, we went on a winter break. And I think players have had a pre-season or they've had a World Cup during that winter break. And they seem to have improved. 
I'm wondering if all my squads improved. Martin Bailey. No, maybe not. He's improved slightly. Um, let's see who else. Igor Matanovic. He's steadily improved. Merk Kiyoku. See again, he's another one that's improved half a star. Um, 22 year old left back. Okay. Uh, Juan Miranda. Wow. Holy shit. It's gone Spain with the World Cup. Must have done. European Champions Cup. Wow. Okay. Yusufa Makuku. He's improved as well. From October, November, December. So, he improved one star between September and October. And then half a star between October and November. And he's still developing. So I think there must be something in the game where, come October, November 22 players start reaching a potential a little bit um, he's looking good Yuri Pavlenka he's improved see from October to November massive jump Pavon he's gone down in bravery massive jump Persina. He's gone to. He was three star. Oh, it's two and a half star. Then he's gone to three star. So Persina's improved and gone to three star. They've not really gone up a full arrow. Like this penalty taking has gone up full arrow pointing to 12 o'clock. The other green arrow is pointing to 2 o'clock, really. Except for jumping reach and work rate they're straight to 12 o'clock so players are definitely improved Dennis Popoff two and a half star to three star but it's not showing any arrows but it's saying he's now three star so October 22 is where he's two and a half star and November 22 so maybe it's November 22 when the World Cup is the player attributes change And they improve because of the World Cup Okay, he's 26 caps two goals Shit even Patrick Roberts has improved He's gone from two and a half star. Oh, he's still two and a half star But he's improved there you go Rodrigo Bacal he's improved slightly not much but he's up and down two and a half star to two star then back to two and a half star so he's wanted by SEP so yeah I think I think November 2022 players start to change the ratings a little bit um, so if you notice that, let me know. Okay guys, so something interesting here. Um, following players' contracts set to expire, there's Naby Keita at Liverpool, um, world-class midfielder. There's Jose Campana, who's a decent midfielder. Nabil Faker. There is Roman Berkey. The goalkeeper looks excellent. Uh, let's see. He don't look too bad for a left back. Flavius Deniluc. Uh, Santiago Romero. A young wonder kid. And then there's one of my favourites. Namdi Collins. Young defender. Valued 70 grand. He's listed. What's it listed for us? Transfer list of 29.5 million and he's out of contract um, <laughs> uh, There's Jan Sommer 
Um, there's some decent players here. There's Yannick Balassi, Leonardo Campana, um, Casper Schmeichel, Ender Stevens. So some decent players there. Um, so we're going to keep a little eye out on those. Um, because I've got a sneaky little feeling. Uh, maybe able to pick up a bargain or two. Trigger the contract extensions on the new gens. Uh, let him go. Let him go as well. Okay, guys, so we're going to get back to our first game now. Um, let's see. I think I want to go to a 4 2 3 1 formation, you know. Um, maybe. Ooh, I don't know. Or maybe a narrow. Four three one, and hear me out on this. Um, we could. Where is he? Where's Arezo? We've got Chong there. Hang on, let me put the squad together. Okay, uh, I think we're going to play Pavlenka in goal. Caligari, Taribo, Araujo and Kutris across the back. Then Zakagni and Delaney in midfield. Lamella, Almara and Rodriguez. Almost like three number tens. Um, and a razor up front. Just want to experiment about playing the game a little bit tight. Um, on the bench we've got Galini, Godoy, Bailly and Collins. Chong, Kondogbia, Dembele, Sima and Makuku. So that's how we look. Apparently, we got a major issue at the opponent's corner flag uh, that they're defending. Not worried about that. Uh, not worried whatsoever. Lamella and Kutris may have to come off the field at some point. Um, I'm not sure if I did any opposition instructions. Uh, let's see. Philip Billing is now playing for Union Berlin. Mark Van Bommel is the manager. Matt Solo Sunday used to play for Man United and Rotherham. Young right back, he's there as well. Lucas Dashner used to play for us, is on the bench for them. Um, yeah, let's see how we do. We are just going to quickly, um, when it gets underway, I'll tell you what, Lamella, Yamas and Almara, good lord. We are uh, second in the league, a point ahead of Bayern, but 11 behind Dortmund. We're just going to quickly do opposition instructions, ask assistant, there we go. I think we'll uh, encourage the boys from the get-go as well. Thomas Delaney will pick that up hopefully, give it to Zakagni. He's going to look to the right, find Caligari cutting inside. Can he find him? He doesn't need him. Oh, now he does. Caligari's tackled by Aris Mendy. But then he tackles Arismendi, gets it back, crosses, and it's away by Frank. But, and uh, Zakagni will pick it up again. Gets tired, switched it to the centre with Delaney. Almada finds Arezos, hit the post. Oof. We stretched him a little bit there. Kimmich has scored for Bayern, they jump ahead of us by point. Hmm. Everybody else is nil-nil, really. 
Set for Bayer and I'm tracked to 1 1. Pavlenka takes goal kick. Oh, that's to no one. Billing finds Neri on the right. Oof. Oh no. Oh, good save by Pavlenka. What's he doing putting the ball down? <laughs> Come on, lads. Let's just demand more from them. James looks up, finds Arezo. He's wide on the left hand side of the box. Got Delaney there to Zakagni. Is he going to hit it? Oh, he's hit the post. He made the angle and then hit the post. It's come off the inside of the post and gone for a goal kick. And uh, Alson Forestieri Berlin. That's the Stadion for Union Berlin. Delaney finds Leonardo Kutris on the overlap. Come on, son. Get a cross in. He does, it's low. Lamella's going to give chase for that. He's got Caligari near him. He whips one in. Oh! Lamella's found James Rodriguez. It just went over Rezo's head. So Lamella turned. Swung his left foot at it. And James Rodriguez at the back stick. Gets in front of his defender. Puts it away. Praise the boys. So we go second again now. Here's Thiago Almada breaking forward. And a shot wide. We're eight points behind Dortmund now. And a point cleared Munich. Oh, Colin, I think, of. Uh, Angered Dortmund. Oh no. Oh bloody hell. Colin did go one up against Dortmund. It's now 1 1. As is our game. I berate the entire team for that. There's Caligari to Lamella. Almada finds Caligari again. Back inside for Lamella. Lays it off for Sakagni. He could shoot. Oh, it's going to go wide anyway. Lacroix heads it away. Delaney gives it back to Sakagni in the middle. Caligari on the right. What can he do with it? Sakagni from 25 yards out switches the ball to the left. Leonardo Kutris plays it back inside to Thomas Delaney. Kutris is free on that left hand side. But Sakagni runs to the right. Going on a mazy dribble. Oh, Aris Mandy tackles him. Then puts the ball. Down the line, which Caligari will keep in play. Oh, he's tried to side foot, side foot that one past Josep, Union Berlin keeper. That's not going to happen. There's a Cagney. Finds Lamella. Must be. Oh, blocked. Frank got himself in front of that shot right there. Corner comes in. Yamez finds Araujo. But he can't make good contact and it's a goal kick. It's up towards Neri. Araujo wins a header. Thiago Almada picks it up, turns. Nazis tackled him. Leonardo Kutris slides in and wins it back. Arezo gives it back to Kutris. He looks for Thiago Almada in the middle. He's gone past three. Oh my word, he slotted it in. He picked up the ball really high. Good control. And then ran past three players. Here we go. Beat Arismandi. Ran past Billing. Then in between the two centre-halves. Finished it to the bottom right. Good goal. Right, I'm going to try and praise the players. See if that helps. Get a good reaction out of them. Here's Lamella. James. Will chase that down. He's got it back. Oh, Leonardo Kutris. Shots blocked. Zakagni. His shots wide. So shots are raining in now. We've had 21 shots to their three in the first half. Absolutely pummeling them. 
Here's Almara. Sikagni was running in on that. Couldn't get there. Delaney shoots. Arezo taps it in, but I think he's going to be offside here. I think it was a Delaney shot. And then Arezo tapped it in, but if it's offside, it's very, very tight. It'd be tighter than a nun's nunny. <laughs> yeah, it's disallowed. Or oh, it's. Yeah, he's offside. So, let's go to the dressing room. Delighted with you boys. I'm not really, but I'm just going to tell you I am because. Well, I'm lying to you. Um, <laughs> I want you to win. So, Colin and Dortmund are 1 1. I think Dortmund will probably win it. be nice if they didn't, and we close the gap to 10. There's Yamez nodding it on for Rezo, who's just chipped it over the keeper. Wow, Lamella found Yamez Rodriguez. He nodded it into his path, and Matthias Rezo. Just lifted it over the oncoming keeper. Look at that. Keeper got crushed by his own man as well. Dear me. Here's Billing in midfield for them. Two shirt. The striker. Back heels to Schultz. Oh, he's give it away. James Rodriguez picks it up. Looks up, finds Arezo. Oh, he's gone from distance and shot wide. That's poor. Oh, he also put a save there. We are keeping it quite tight. Oh, just as I said that, Pavlenka has to make a great save. I think two shirt was offside anyway. This could be four. Lamella to Sakagni. His play went in for Armada. His shot's blocked, but Yamez Rodriguez then picks it up and hits the post. Unfortunately, it's the outside of the post, not the inside. Is Almada to Caligari who's cut inside. Oh, he's hit one. Oh my days, did he just hit one left footed as well for his first goal of the season? The right back absolutely lashed it. Look at this, cuts inside, gets a sighter right at goal. Have some of that. Armada with a free kick. Oh, Josip's behind it. He took a good position, Josip. That's something keepers need to do more in this game. Araujo with a good header. Is that a Sunday? Switching play to Lucas Dashner, our former player. He's giving it over to the right winger, Bazi. And oh, two shirt shots blocked, and it's cleared. And Zakagni heads it down, but Schultz will get there. Just do opposition instructions again. Just because I know a few new players have come on the field. Caligari over the top for Arezo. Easy finish. It's his 10th goal of the season. It's 5 1. Caligari with a really, really good uh, pass there. He's going to get subbed because he's got a yellow card for no other reason. Um, 
I'm gonna bring on Condog Beer for Delaney as well. I'm gonna bring on Bay for Raljo. So just the the players have been um, who, who've been booked are coming off. And I'm gonna bring on uh, Collins for Kutris as well because Kutris wasn't that fit um, at the start of the game and knowing my luck I use all my subs up and uh, yeah he'll end up getting injured so 5-1 there's the Cagney looking knackered let's just praise the players we've had 60% possession 38 shots or 40 shots sorry 14 on target they've had 7 and 5 HMS Pistol League boys if it wasn't for Dortmund oh my days very happy with you boys there you go back to winning ways get in well they've done it again I've just gone on all day to the next game and uh, the club's appointed uh, Andy Peter it doesn't look like the Andy Peters that I grew up with um, but he's become our new technical director um, there is some transfer activity here Ronaldo Camara Bochum want him on loan um, he's currently at San Paoli right the second string so I think I'm gonna leave him there actually reject the offer Alvaro Nunes um, let's reject that Arimu now Afiz Arimu was a potential player who joined us and was up at the second string but he's not really made it so I'm gonna let him go but I'll make Piscina offer. Um, give me seven million, you can have him. There you go. So I got an extra half a million for Piscina. Carl Joseph uh, for Hamilton. Go on, just get him game time and improve him. Let's see. Dennis Popoff moving to the mentoring group. PSG want to loan Almada and they don't want to pay his wages. Are you taking a the piss? They are mega rich. I cannot believe they won't pay his wages. Right, I'm going to make this non negotiable. If you don't take it, screw them. Um, potential issue with Cola. Hello, mate. You okay? Good. Bye bye. Um, now, we did bring in uh, Brout Charland. For those of you who may know him as Erling Haaland's cousin. Uh, you see information here. Uh, you're. Jonathan Brout, Brunez and Erling Haaland. Who's Brunez? Oh, Brunez. He's at Ranheim. He's also a striker. Six foot two. Uh, six goals, five assists in 27. Get a little report on him. Um... So Albert Brout Yarland, I brought in for the second string basically. Um, so we're gonna move him there, but we'll see if he is the new Erling Haaland. Uh, he scored two goals in one appearance in the Champions Cup, th made three sub appearances there. Um, so he's done all right. He's you know, but he is only eighteen. So we can't expect too much. 
six and a quarter million for him. Nope. Um, let's see. No, you're not having Kamara. Alunga. Who's this guy? Cameroon. Nope. No good. Howell. Shit. He was one of the players on my shortlist, I think. Six foot three. Centre forward. 17. New gen. Never mind. Ryan Hold Yabo. Come and get me, please. Uh, unlucky pal. It's not going to happen. Not today, sunshine. So, Bayer Leverkusen are our next game. I think my game's broke. Um, Nico Williams, who I once signed for Celtic. Actually, um, once we um, left Celtic, <laughs> he, uh, he signed for them um, on a free, on a Bosman. Um, he's done really well. 30 goals in 87 games. He got 19 in 32 in his first season and 4 in 12. However, how I know the game is broke, says here he's six foot four. I don't remember Nico Williams being six foot four in the game. I'm pretty sure he was like five nine, five ten or something. I don't remember him being six foot four, so I think my game is corrupted somehow. <laughs> I think it's broken. Uh, but whenever you put like face packs in, you're always gonna get something. Um so yeah I think my game's probably gone bye bye uh, <laughs> so can't wait for FM22 now well here we go kick off against Bayer we have Pavlenka in goal Caligari, Tadibo, Raudra and Kutris at the back Sakagni and Delaney in midfield with Dembele, Almada and Rodriguez playing behind Arezo. and I've spread the wingers out a little bit now um, so Chamez and Dembele are a little bit wider. Uh, Almada is going to be a second striker. Here's Arezo. Well took. Ooh. He took that well under control, but poor finish, particularly for him. Uh, we are very attacking as well. Ianis Hadji, the former Rangers man, sends that one in for Bayer. Arezo picks up the loose ball. It's too tight of an angle. Augustinson comes in really hard there. Is that a penalty? He came in two-footed on a razo. That might just be a penalty, you know. Yeah, Thiago Armada's going to take it. On the five minute mark. Oh, he scores. And runs away to the corner. To celebrate with the San Paoli fans. 1 0 up. Come on, the lads. <laughs> have to praise the boys for that. We have to. Edward scored for Leipzig. I'm gonna have a little little look as to uh, how many goals Edward's got now actually. Be interesting. He's got eight in fourteen. Wow, so he does well. Um okay. That's not bad, eight in fourteen. We're nine points behind Dortmund as things stand, three points out of Bayern. Which I just can't believe, to be honest. Um, unbelievable. Um, we've got Zakagni there trying to make something happen. Here's Tadebo. Finding Caligari. Oh, he's fouled. Is that another pen? Could be another penalty, that, you know. I think he's give it. No penalty. Are you kidding? Well, if that's not a penalty, it should be a free kick. What the hell? 
He took him out. Dirty bastards. Dirty bear bastards. Then Belly. Oh, we can't find Yamez Rodriguez. He barely keeps in. Zakagni gives it back to him. Oh, Yamez is took down in the penalty box as well. I thought Zakagni was going to score then, to be honest. They're all over them, boys. 40 minutes gone, 17 shots, 4 on target, 63% possession. Absolutely smashing them. Zakagni. Oh, he's gone for it, it's gone wide. Man, you Rochdale on Saturday had 65% possession against Oldham, 0 shots on goal. <laughs> that was the first half. So, uh, it's not all about possession, I suppose, what you do with it. Here's Caligari. Oh, Dem he's gone right through Dembele then. No penalty, the ref says. Play on Zakagni. Frimpong, another one of our former players. Oh, skimming away to Rezo. You don't want to do that, mate. I think it might have been Ionis Hadjis, the uh, Rangers lad. Just turned around and gave it to Rezo. Here he is, Hadji. Put under pressure, plays it back. And Arezo from 20 or so yards out turns on a dime and swings his right boot at it into the bottom right corner. 2 0. Just before half time as well. So we've had 57% possession, 20 shots, they've had two. Uh, only six on target, 6.96 average rating, 86% pass completion rate from 164 passes which is a lot so very pleased boys keep it going they've made a couple of substitutions uh, which then means that we are going to uh, basically on it like a car bonnet they've changed formation as well they've gone to uh, a 352 now rather than a 4-4-2 oh Tadebo gets his head on that but it's going to be a goal kick because it's over the bar Ezekiel Palacios should have been booked earlier for that penalty Thiago Almada with a free kick oh he's bent one Unbahan I think that's the name of the keeper who saved it but uh, that was close Now I have to be aware that Dembele and Kutris were both short of match sharpness. So i got to bear that in mind. So I think with that I'm going to bring on Chong on the hour mark. And I'm going to bring on uh, Jamilu Collins. So both of those lads have got a little bit of fitness. Caligari's not playing well. Hmm. Here's Yamez putting one in. Almada! Just over the bar. I'm thinking Delaney and Caligari might be the subs I make now. So let's take off Caligari for Godoy. Because Caligari's playing poor. And Almada looks knackered. Oh! Crap. Cancel. Let's take our matter off. He looks absolutely battered. Um, let's bring on my cuckoo for him. There we go. I'll just have to leave Caligari on. Because his fitness is better than Almada's. Kerim Demabry, who we've tried getting a few times and couldn't, takes that free kick. Thomas Delaney, nice and calmly deals with that Caligari launches one forward to the left wing there's no one there I don't know why he's done that oh, so Cagney wins a header Chong Ooh. lashes one wide gonna encourage the boys 2-0 20 minutes to go Do 
Jamilo Collins going on a run down the left. Oh, Palacios. He's already been booked, referee. Get him off. He's gone. Yeah. Ezekiel Palacios. Dirty little git. Come on, lads. Christ, I tried to encourage them and they all got sad faces now. Get stuck in. Nakuku wins it. He shoots. Oh, back at the net. Ninth goal of the season. That was all his own work there. 3-0. 15 minutes to go. He gets the ball off Retzos. And then just does him for pace. Jonathan Tarr can't get across quick enough. Back of the net. Right, let's see if we praise the players. If that helps them. We're 3-0 up. It should do. Here's Makuku. He's running riot. He's slung one in, but it's away. Frimpong clears it up to Barisic. I don't think that's Borna Barisic. I think it's somebody else. Zakagni looking for Yamez. Shot wide, side netting. Yeah, that's Zakagni's playing up top. So um, that Barisic, sorry. Here's Sakagni. Yamez out wide to Collins on the left. Oh, Frimpong tackles him. That'll be a throw in. Although, Frim Frimpong's claiming that it's not a penalty. But if it is, he could be in trouble because he's got a yellow already. Sakagni's looking knackered. Let's just do some instructions here. Let's just bring the tempo down. Um, be more disciplined. Okay. No penalty, he says. I don't think it were. It definitely should be a, a throw into us, though. And uh, it is a 20 year old Bartol Barisic. Um, is a striker. Let's have a little look. Agent, favoured personnel. So he's based in Germany. I don't think it's. Borna Barisic um, relation just the same name I think it's like Smith in Croatia or Johnson <laughs> here's Caligari oh he's fouled by Augustinson Augustinson's gone through a few players now I think this might be the fifth penalty claim we've had we've got one so far which we put away Five penalty claims in a game. Wow. Yeah, penalty awarded this time. And uh, who's going to take it? Matthias Arezzo. Okay. Arezzo steps up. Oh, sends the keeper the wrong way. Good lad. It's his name on the score sheet. 12th goal of the season. So. 4-0. Caligari plays it to Delaney. Holds it up for Collins. Oh my word. Jamilu Collins. Right footed. Just gone and hit a worldie. Jamilu Collins, that is filth. Watch this, Delaney. Tease it up. First time. Top bags, thank you very much. 5 0 against Bayer Leverkusen. It's a big result.
James Rodriguez plays it down the line for Makuku. Oh, off the bar and away for a goal kick. That's not done our goal difference any harm whatsoever. That's brilliant. Uh, we had 43 shots to their four. 58% possession, 7.5 to average rating, 14 key passes by James Rodriguez. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a hell of a result, that 5 0. Let's see what that does. Well, Dortmund still 11 points clear. Um, we are 11 points behind them. We have plus 25 goal difference. Dortmund plus 42. Oh, Christ, I thought we were attacking. We each played 17. Um, we are 4 points ahead of Bayern Munich. And 6 points ahead of Leipzig. Um, Bayern lost 5-0 against Augsburg. And if I'm not mistaken, Mohamed Guindo is one of our players on loan from Sao Paulo. He scored six in eight. Oh my days. Explosive striker, 18 pace, 18 acceleration, 16 fitness, 17 finishing, 16 first touch. I think David Anderson pointed him out as being an explosive striker before. Um, and it looks as though Bayern got battered 5-0 um, Shabani scored a hat-trick against them um, fair play Dortmund beat Freiburg 3-0 um, RB Leipzig drew 1-1 with Mushin Gladbach um, that Hans Wolf scores a few goals I tell you um, and Schalke Christ Hoffenheim won 5 0 against Hanover. So three 5 nillers. Wow, okay. So um, Augsburg as well. They've moved into the Europa spot. They've played 15 games, so they've got a few games in hand. They've got 28 points. If they win those two, they could go to 34 points and get in the Champions League um, and knock out Leipzig on goal difference. So Augsburg coming good. Bloody hell. Didn't expect that. So there you go. We are second in the league. Um, bloody remarkable to be honest with you. Uh, absolutely remarkable. Um, I am going to leave it there while I'm ahead. Always quit while you're ahead. Uh, Almada's got a tight Achilles. Rodriguez. Um, amazing created a great number of chances and boom there we go now I've not signed any big players for money I've only signed the um, what you call it the second team only signed players for them so I've moved some of the budget across into wages um, we're still two million and thirty two thousand we're spending we're probably spending 120 grand more than we should do. I'm going to try and move a few players on um, and offline uh, or off camera even. If I go to the second team here, I still have players like Simon to road, you know, um, off of the clubs. You know, he's retiring at the end of the season. So let's just give him away. Um, <laughs> Oh, it won't let me offer to clubs. Bugger. Okay. Jeffrey Condogbia should not be there. Marek Rodek is transferring, joining INT um, on the 1st of March. Martin Bailey shouldn't be there, really. Um, so there's quite a few. I'm going to try and get rid of these. Uh, lower the wage bill best I can and uh, just yeah basically getting a bit of cash as well um, so I will love you all and leave you all
Uh, you take care of yourselves. It's been great hanging out with you again. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And don't forget, we got the vlog on um, Wednesday at 2 as well. So take care. I'll see you all soon. Bye now.